is Yahushua Solomon, and uh, I live in uh, the Midwood section, or Flatbush section of Brooklyn, New York. Um, I'm a Jewish music teacher at uh, Yeshiva Derech HaTorah. I believe that uh, I have what it takes to be the next Jewish star. I can't believe I'm saying this, it sounds so, <laughs> it sounds so haughty. But uh, <laughs> uh, I, I believe I have what it takes to be the next Jewish star because um, I have been told by a lot of people in the business that I've been connected with. She is just amazing how he can just turn on like this and everybody around them is just full of smiles. She is the best. It was actually on a Friday afternoon. Uh, my mother was carrying a bouquet of roses. Uh, she got off the city bus, crossed the street, and was unfortunately hit by a, uh, by a pickup truck. And, um, and uh, she just didn't survive after that. But uh, my father said at the shiva um, that uh, Baruch Hashem, uh, she didn't feel any pain. She doubt she felt any pain because it was, it was basically instantaneous. Would my mom wish for me to be a Jewish star? I really think so. I really think so. She's been very supportive of all of our, of all of us, and they, they've had good things to say about me. And uh, and uh, I did have some stage experience as a youngster, though I never sang as a solo. Um, if I were to win, um, I I don't think I would uh, win the car since uh, I, I don't drive yet. Believe it or not. <laughs> So, uh, so if I were to get the $5,000 cash, I would definitely donate a, a nice portion of it to Tzedakah, um, as well as pay off some of my debts. Um, but I would, I, I'm really looking forward to uh, performing also at the Chabad Talatan, which I believe the winner is also uh, is supposed to get as well. And uh, producing a single, that, you know, that's, that's been a dream of mine, which I've you know, never got around to. Shia! Oh, Shia! Let's do it! All right. Shia is the next Jewish star. It's, it's going to be an exhilarating experience. Um, I can picture it. It's, 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 it's going to be a lot of fun. Shia! My name is Mendel Pekarski. I go to the school of Ali Tyra and, I, and I'm in the sixth grade. I very often practice music and my rehearsing place is actually my shower every time. Um, they are just singing. I think I have what it takes to be the next Jewish star because I've got a lot of compliments on performances that, on performances that I've done and I'm very passionate. I want to take music to the next level. My parents inspire me the most because they're people who a lot of times they make the right decision even when I think it's not right and then I see that they've chosen the right thing and a lot of times I learn from them and they teach me a lot and they really inspire me. As a mother, Mendel is just the most pride and joy we've ever imagined. He's an amazing kid, he's energetic, He's full of life, he's full of personality, he's got all it takes, and he just loves music, he loves singing. It's like, a, it's like a dream, it's like a present that I've gotten. And my only hope and wish is that as a father, uh, I can be there for him and I can guide him in the right way to help him blossom and grow and to be, um, become this amazing person that he is and that he will be. If he does win it, then it's just legitimizing on paper what he is and who he is and it's just a little step up to go ahead and pursue it. His voice also is a very, very authentic voice. It's very smooth. Um, he never has hiccups in it. Uh, he's consistent. Uh, and I love using him as, as, as a voiceover and I think that a lot of the talents that you have um, in a voiceover are a lot of the things that you need on stage. Hi, my name is Shimi Markovich. I live in Mexico City. My father is from Mexico, my mother is from Chicago. When I come home, 
I sit at the piano, I go to my studio. When I'm in my office, I turn on music. I'm always singing. Everything what I do is music. He's had a love for it always. He's been asked to sing at a lot of events, a lot of weddings. And the more he was asked to sing in these places, the more love he found that he had for this. What inspires me the most in music is when, in general, when I sing. And I see the people, depends on the occasion, either happy or emotional. And like I told you before, when they come over to me. I think it's great work and there's no words to thank you for trying to get people's dreams into reality. For Shimmy, my son, and for all the other contestants, I'm sure tonight's gonna be a special night. And I have to say that I know my children are gonna make fun of me, but I always say it, that it does come from the, my side of the family. He takes after my father, Olav Shalom, Shimon Beer. What mostly hits me the most is someone, a singer, that sings a lot with feelings and connects a lot to the song. Because that's what really affects and that's what shows to, to the public. My name is Shlomo Spalnit. I live in Far Rockaway, New York. Um, I moved there about two months ago. And I'm 15, I'm pretty sure. I can't wait for this Jewish star to begin. I'm so excited. Nervousness exciting together. Um, I was playing basketball, typical me, breaking my arm. I broke my foot, my arm. A little athletic for a small kid, so I guess my bones aren't able to handle what I do. Usually bigger kids do what I'm doing. Um, I'm small, it's cool. Um, I think it's better because when I'm singing, they'll be like, oh, a little cute kid is on stage. So if they imagine me as 15 and I'm bad, it won't work. I pass for anything. I think Shlomo has the potential to be the next God of Adar if he really wants to be. I'd like him to be the next God of Adar, which is obviously a Jewish star. Cy Raph, here's a sample. I'm a Jew who's got no clue what I'm gonna do. Well, not even my crew have a clue what we go do, but maybe you have something that I could do. You know what? No time. I just want to rap, even while I'm wearing my skull cap, even though it looks like a bull's cap, I still be walking on the map. I can technically be the next Jewish star if, and I think I can do it, is just put emotion into your song. If you express your song, how you feel it inside yourself, and it comes out the way you, I'm, the way I need it to come out. The people, if the people like my style. My name is Ami Eller. I'm 15 years old and I live in Muncie, New York. Why do I think I have what it takes to be the Jewish star? Why not? I've been playing piano since I was eight years old. I'm very musically talented. <laughs> the artist that I like the most is Benny Friedman because he has a unique sound. He, he's different from everybody else and he's just all in all a great singer. Hanusham Alach means to me that the song is talking about Hashem. He gave you uh, the guf that you have inside you and you, you use it for good things and and you try to do the right thing always for Hashem. And I feel that davening is the most important part of Judaism because you get to speak to Hashem three times a day to ask Him for whatever you need. So too by singing also, it's, singing is like a tefillah, you're talking to Hashem, you're expressing your soul, and you're asking Him for whatever you want. Awesome to be his mom. It's really, really cool when you see your kid get up there on stage and they're singing and they're playing and they're singing harmony and they're playing something else and you watch your hands with the video camera and, and the video is not watchable because your hands are shaking because it's so unbelievably cool. Ami's sister, I think that he does have the talent to win um, the contest and I'm not just saying that because he's his sister, um, brother, and um, all my friends think that he's amazing. They can't believe he's been on so many albums. They can't believe he's doing this and it's just awesome. 
Uh, maybe a little bit of coercion on our part? No, 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 no not no at all. Coercion. No coercion whatsoever. We kind of signed him up for a choir or two without his permission. Um, we do have our conflicts, because that's what siblings do, but I think <laughs> and we could be pretty close. As a mother, you look at both things. On the one hand, you look and say, of course, and then you look and you worry and say, is he really that good? And I, I don't know, I mean, I, I keep listening and I keep thinking, is it just me because I'm his mother? But I keep... He, he has the possibility of redefining what a Jewish star is. I'm Yellow, the next Jewish star! Yeah! My name is Mendy Antelis, and I live in Hillside, New Jersey. And I turned 14 this past summer in August. And I went to Camp Ganesil. My favorite sport is basketball. Writing songs and singing around the house. And my favorite hobby is singing. Like, it just runs in the family because everyone's musical and everyone plays an instrument. And hopefully, in the next year, I'll, I'll be able to play an instrument. I'm just working on singing right now. And, and I just really want to win the contest because it, I mean, it's a lot of exposure. And it's really good for a singing career, if you want to start a singing career. Because the contest gives a chance, it gives everyone a chance to become a star and do what they want to be. I really like um, Mordechai David because she always like puts a lot of passion into his singing. He always like, I feel like, he, I feel like he's like crying in his music. Absolutely. That's what my father always says. In 1979, I was managing Sam Mesh in Brooklyn, assistant manager in Manhattan, and Yossi Pimenta was introduced to a mutual friend, and he came in, and he said the magic words to a musician. He heard me playing bass, and he said, Michael, would you like to get paid? And I said, yeah, that's a great thing. And then he got me in his band. I think Manny has what it takes because I've seen him play basketball, and now he practices and practices until he perfects everything. The reason you should be at the concert is because I think it's Amazing thing to see, stars in the making. I'm Moshe Vitton, a child and a אני משגיח במסעדה סינית, תאילנדית. ואני אחראי פה על המסעדה, על הכשרות, כשרות מהדרין. וזהו, בגדול אני עושה פה את הקמח, עושה פה את האורז. ברוך השם, אצלי יש כישרון מולד, שאני מאוד מאוד אוהב את השירה. מאוד מאוד אוהב. אני חושב שיש לי את מה שצריך. אני מאוד מתאים. ואני הישראלי היחיד מהארץ שמייצג את ארץ ישראל באמריקה. הרצון שלי לנצח בתחרות זה... זה משהו שתמיד חיכיתי לו. זה חלום שבעזרת השם, אם הוא יתגשם, זה יהיה בשבילי דבר מאוד מאוד גדול. שמעתי המון 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 זמרים ב... ב... מכל המגזרים, והבן אדם הזה יש בו סגנון כל כך מיוחד, שאין אין לו, אין לו, יש לו את כל השילובים ביחד בשירה שלו. Actually, for a few years when I was in Yeshiva, I didn't actually even listen to music. I think I was just busy doing other stuff. But ever since I was like, I think 22, 21, when I, start, I actually started getting back into it. As a person, I'm very comfortable and open, you know, I'm not shy in front of people, in front of a camera. Quite shy. It's funny, just, you know, um, I'll work on it. As a, on stage, I'm, I'm not shy, uh, you know, singing, performing and stuff like that. But talking and stuff on camera, not my thing just yet, but I'll get there. I think I could bring a lot of innovative um, ideas to Jewish music. Uh, bring a bit of African flavor, new beats.
my name is David Moskowitz and welcome to Kew Garden Hills. Welcome, welcome to, to our home. home. I've been involved in music since I was about two or three because I lived in Israel and I would always, there was Bachram who would come to my house and I would always sing with them and jump on the couch and I would sing and I actually never took voice lessons. So. I think I have what it takes to be the next Jewish star because I'm able to sing, I've been on albums, I'm able to, I have solos a lot, I guess, and um, I just like to sing and people are impressed and I, music is in my soul. I feel like I serve Hashem the best when I sing, and I perform and make people happy. It's okay. I don't want to. <laughs> when I see David perform, and he's, and I feel the magnetism in the ear, it's like the biggest, you know, drug in the world to see how happy he is and how he smiles, and then to watch the audience respond to him. He has a tremendous energy about him. I did that song because Sulam is a very meaningful song. It, it's talking about music and how you're supposed to sing it and how it, it brings you closer to Hashem. And um, it just makes you closer to Hashem. It, feel, it makes you feel very close. Every week, we learn once a week. I see the consistency and constantly David is always practicing, preparing in advance, reviewing the material from week to week. My brother sings very well. Pride is not a strong enough a word to describe how I feel when I see him when I see him sing. And I look forward to having that opportunity on, on March 19th. You have family coming from far and wide to, to witness David on stage. David Moskowitz, the next Jewish star. David Moskowitz is the next Jewish star. My name is Davi Minkowitz. I live in Crown Heights. I'm a proud father of five. The whole Jewish star thing is actually very interesting to me. I don't look at it as, you know, the next Jewish star. Uh, I grew up with, you know, the Jewish stars in my life, where Mordechai and David and Avram Fried, they were playing nonstop. Uh, so when you say, when I will be the next Jewish star, you know, will I ever come to the, uh, you know, minute stature of Mordechai and David and Avram Fried? I don't know. Um, but what I do have is a lot of heart, a lot of passion uh, towards the music, and I have a lot of love for the music. So really why I picked it, besides the fact that I really love the song, is it, it really brings out and shines the quality of my voice. You know, it's, it, I won't be able to sing, uh, you know, a high-pitched pop star voice that goes into a, a certain genre. You have to stick really with what you are capable of singing. This is going to be something out of the expectation. You don't know what is going to turn out. You don't know if I'm going to sing well. You don't know if the other seven contestants are going to sing well. You don't know if the four boy contestants are going to sing well. I, I've heard them, and I know that at least two of the boys are phenomenal singers, and I know that at least three of the adults are. Jewish star, I thought this was for the hot dog eating game contest. Davi Mikowitz, the next Jewish star. March 19th, Brooklyn College. I, Davi Mikowitz, will see you there. Bezrat Hashem. I live in Pinsk and I work here in local community and I work here like uh, as a teacher and also we have a kollel, I study here. The music is my uh, favorite hobby that I put myself in it a lot. I spend a lot of time uh, playing music and uh, writing music and enjoying uh, different other singers and groups. The connection to music is when I was young, my father sent me to a music school where I started playing the flute and guitar. And now, since I came into Jewish music, I think I have everything what it takes to be a next Jewish star. After I got married, my wife 
helps me a lot and inspires me to continue my thing. My husband is a person with an open heart. He has a lot of friends. He helps them with the need. He tries to bring people close to Hashem. When I met him, I realized that he, that he is person that I was looking for. You know, you just walk into any apartment here, you can hear his music blaring out the windows. My song, uh, Dvoimir, which means uh, your world, the, the, is, is the song which is connected to me a lot. In this song, I reflected my world. I reflected the way I became Bolshevist. And uh, I think that this song will help to other Bolshevists uh, to come closer to Yiddishkeit and to start in listening, uh, listening Jewish music and uh, become next, maybe next year, Jewish star. I'm not afraid to